just want something I can feel inside. I just want something I can feel in. Inside these walls 
Why do we race? Is it to prove how fast we are? How far we can go? Do we race to find our place? To test our beliefs? To be part of something greater? To face fear? To know sacrifice? To grow stronger? Immortal. In truth, there is no simple answer to why we race. There is only the fact that we always will. For the Forgiven Coffee Co. Fast Fours Championship. It's starting to uh, shape up to be a great championship. Uh, a few little battles on our hand between a lot of the drivers there, uh, particularly med mid pack, sorry. Uh, we'll just jump on board now and just go through our drivers list. Just going through, don't forget we are live across the globe on five platforms, including Mixer, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and uh, Mob Crush. Uh, all right, so we've got uh, Oosh, Oosh, it's on from uh, Jaden. Uh, welcome, mate. Welcome to the stream. Matthew Woods, welcome, buddy. Uh, Roderick saying this is going to be good. And we've got Paul Warwick saying good luck to all the drivers out there. Yes, I uh, couldn't have said it any better than myself. Good luck to everyone involved with this. But FRCA Shadow in the MX-5, uh, the Van Diemen clothing entry. Got Marta and the Sylvia, the mobile O, oh, uh, mobile one entry. Sorry, uh, he's uh, two of uh, a Marta Motorsport drivers, two mobile one entries. Uh, the other gentleman couldn't make the grid this evening. Uh, we've got another FRCA driver, FRCA Vermin in another MX5. Suspect Pete again representing the Anzac Spirit. The Anzac Spirit, that is also Evans Esports. Our Project Cars Touring Cars is shaping up to be Aussies versus Kiwis, and I believe that the Fast Fours is going the same way. That bloke, Baudzi, uh, and the Honda Civic. Uh, new entry this evening, so uh, making his debut out there. Uh, Sergeant Sideways in the Acura uh, entry. The Isaac Construction Integra. GIMP TZA, another, uh, sorry, another Anzac Spirit entry there, another Mini. FRCA Filth, and another Integra. And rounding out the field is FRCA Ghost 05. So plenty of the uh, FRCA drivers there. We do have a couple of. Uh, we do have a couple of uh, CXR drivers that aren't out there at the moment, uh, but a few of the FRCA drivers, which is going to shape things up a little bit. A lot of entries, uh, nine entries there. So good to see. I'm just waiting for Ghost. If you're watching, mate, you need to uh, ready up there. Uh, I've just checked the comments sections in a couple of the uh, streams. Don't forget, we are across the globe on five platforms. Uh, Twitch, you'll find me over there. Lil underscore flip 01. That's L I L underscore flip 01. Uh, if you're able to get onto the Twitch, if you prefer the Twitch platform, uh, cross there on Mixer. Lil flip 01. That's L I L space O flip. Sorry, it's uh, the same as Twitch. Lil underscore flip 01. Over there on uh, Mixer. 
Check out YouTube Salad Gaming. So search that up and you will come across it there as well. So I uh, actually had a couple of views overnight from our Project Cars Touring Cars race uh, last night. So didn't get as many live viewers, but uh, plenty watched it afterwards. So that's good to see that YouTube's certainly living up to what it needs to be. Uh, at the moment, uh, All right, okay, so we've got Ghost who is ready. We're about to go green for a quick 15 minute qualifying session. Don't forget we are live here from Monza. Give them the thumbs up that I am ready. Countdown will begin. And there it is. As we launch into the stream here, into the race. Qualifying, 15 minute qualifying session. Uh, we've got Jared, Dex and Nelson taking victory last night in uh, his uh, Project Cars race. As qualifying's open here at Monza. First lap out, obviously a warm up lap. You want to get plenty of temperature in the tires. Drop the map down there at the moment. We don't need to see that. as a big breakup lock there from uh, Filth. Uh, welcome to stream, Jordan. Thanks for jumping along. Uh, yeah, again, congratulations to the decks who take, took victory. Four from four races for him over in Project Cars. Uh, he's saying, getting Rob, Vermin and Filth, giving the uh, FRCA drivers something to look forward to. He's certainly supporting them. Uh, direct competitors over there at Project Cars, Touring Cars. As a big brake lock up from, uh, that's filth again, isn't it? So Shadow coming around there. Now, ghosting is on for qualifying. Uh, it's just something that we needed to do to make things a little bit easier. As we got a car off in the background there. I'm not sure who that was. Uh, looked to be two, two cars there at the moment. So we've got that bloke, Bowsy. Uh, obviously struggling with uh, the settings, no no ABS, no traction. That's a beautiful looking Honda there. So you can hear the downshift. Uh, yes, a few force settings here for the fast fours if you weren't aware of it. Uh, we've got Kyle Warwick saying good luck bro. Uh, yes, certainly good luck. Uh, who, who is bro? If you don't mind commenting so that we, uh, we can do a shout out. Uh, ugh, got cats fighting here. So Filth is uh, so obviously fastest on track at the moment. Uh, my apologies, I've got another car. Ghost. Ghost of course is out there in front. Warwick Building Services. I'm um, guessing that's bro. Uh, guessing that is uh, Kyle Warwick. That is the bro you speak of. So, yes, good luck to Ghost. Hey, mate. Uh, g'day, Ryan. How are you, buddy? So, the pace has been set on the first uh, outlap, I guess. So not a flying lap. So, the... the First flying lap is now as they all come up through that chicane. A little bit of smoke there, obviously a brake lock up from one of the cars. I'm just watching the uh, the view counter. Uh, it's just going up and up, guys. So I really appreciate everyone who's supporting the stream here. Uh, if you don't mind sharing the hell out of it and uh, getting across to Forgiven Coffee Co., giving them a like, BP Images, give them a like, and uh, of course uh, our music for the series at the moment, BXRNES, I'm not sure how we pronounce that, uh, links are all in the description, so if you can give them all a like, uh, I'm sure they'd appreciate it, I most certainly would. At the moment, Ghost has set the fastest time there. Uh, remember, he is flying down here. That little thing is a rocket. Tricky little section of the track here now. Oh, 
I know it'd make a huge difference in the Formula One cars around here. Um, hitting the apexes, but these little cars probably don't matter as much. We've got a car in the background here, you can see the lights on. So this will give us an indication of what kind of lap times we're chasing, but Ghost is just blitzing the rest there at the moment. Plenty of clean air. Perhaps the other driver's on the uh, back section of the track, so as we cross the line here now, he sets a lap time of a 2.08.395. As the other cars come around now, crossing the line, let's give us an indication of here, where we're sitting. So Shadow moves up to second, Vermin down to third as Amada with a big brake lock up there at the moment. See coming around. Want a uh, safe entry there? Don't want to collide with Phil. Uh, Kyle Warwick, go ghost with the little ghost emoji. Uh, can, yeah, mate, he's, he's on another level of his own out there at the moment. Suspect Pete. And the little mini. It's a beautiful livery. I love this. Love the support that he's uh, been given. Uh, just saying, little Twitch logo. Don't forget, we are on Twitch. Uh, if you prefer that platform, uh, I'm not. I'm not biased. Not fussy. Uh, just gives us more ground to cover, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah. Love the love the Anzac Spirit livery that he's got happening there. I jump on, sorry, I've just got to check the Twitch stream there. I've got a little iPad here at the moment so we can check all platforms, check all the comments coming through. Uh, I want to get you guys involved as much as I can as viewers as I do here our races and drivers, I guess you could call them. Gonna jump on board with a martyr here who is a drifter by trade. So he would be, as you can see, a lot of wheel work there. Just uh, we seen it uh, just as he got a little bit of um, oversteer. The, the back end kicked out. So Amada moves up to well he's sitting at sixth. Marta filth jumps up the six now. Gimp TZA in fifth spot. A huge congratulations to him. So I was just I was thinking just now to myself, given the Giving that uh, nothing, nothing against suspect, but giving the uh, lap times a suspect, I thought it might have been a thing to do with the minis, uh, just not having the power on these long straights. But uh, Gimp TZA proving me wrong. Uh, sorry guys, I'm just trying to bring up another uh, platform platform of a stream here. Beautiful sound as you can hear him dropping down the gears there. Sergeant sideways in the Isaac construction entry. Fourth spot for him at the moment. That's a good little uh good little spot to be sitting. A 
big brake lock up for him, but he's uh, managed to maintain it. He comes around. What has he got? He comes up to the finish line now. Hasn't got anything else. So those... Um, We've got three FRCA drivers out on top, of course, in the uh, little MX-5. Whoa, it's lit, uh, 23 red racing. I uh, just noticed that, but you just seen he got all kinds of sideways there. Got a car in pit lane there at the moment. That is suspect P just leaving there now. So he's probably going to set it, throw another set of tyres at it. So this is uh, this is where they're going to come undone throughout the race, I believe. That little, uh, it's not a little, it's a big chicane. Uh, very, very tight, tricky section. So we'll just jump on board with Shadow as he comes up to it. Get a, get a bit of an idea of hard on the brakes. Hell of a lot of wheel spin there as he changes up the gears. Coming out of that little tricky section, all the weight on the left hand rear is gone. He turns into that final section, the section of that part of the corner. Coming up into this next one now. Uses the bridge as his brake marker as most of us would do. Beautiful exit that time, almost no wheel spin that time. Marta now up to fifth spot, so uh, kudos to him, I guess. As you'll you'll get a feel for the speed difference here now between these two cars, not a great deal of difference there actually. As filth is right up on him, gets a better exit there. Uh, this is why we've had to turn uh, ghosting on. A lot of different experience levels out there. Um, and we don't want anyone to get caught up in any drama. Uh, the rules are very clear, though, uh, of blue flags throughout the race. Couple of brake lock up there from Filth again. Christ, if qualifying's got anything, any representation of what the racing will be like. Uh, the FRCA drivers, of course, going to be running away with it here. So we'll see if uh, Filth has got anything on this. So Filth has now moved up to the sixth spot. Big, big brake lock up there. He's going to feel that for the next section of this track. 
We've got a car pulled over, or a couple of cars pulled over to the side of the road here. We've got Vermin pulling over. Uh, he's in the sand trap there by the looks of it. Uh, I wonder what's happened there. Sideways and Shadow also uh, pulled over. It's a brilliant shot for our sponsor there, Forgiven Coffee Co. That sticker adds 10 horsepower. Love that sticker. Uh, so a lot of the cars just pulling over there now. Qualifying session looks to be over. That bloke Budsy's going to go. No, he's not going to go anymore. <laughs> Sergeant Sideways in the Isaac con the construction entry. So that is qualifying session over. I believe Ghost took victory. Uh, when I say victory, he is on pole for the race, which is a 30-minute race coming up very, very soon. Ultima Chop 07 is going to uh, have to start from the back of the grid, unfortunately, mate, because uh, you didn't make qualifying. So I'll make sure that the team gets that... Um, understanding we're just going to have a quick uh, two second break here a little intermission while we set the grid for the race if you've got any questions for the drivers don't forget to comment below uh, we'll see if we can get them in board on board for a chat after the race to answer any questions you've got uh, any questions for myself also ask away and uh, we'll be back in about two seconds we'll just set the grid have a little pit stop ourselves and we'll be good to go green here live from Monza it's the Forgiven Coffee Co. Fast Fours Championship.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are live here, ready to go green for the Forgiven Coffee Co. Fast Force Championship. Give race control. Oh, bloody hell, Isaac Construction entry there of Sergeant Sideways. Just a full brake lock up coming into the pit lane there. We just caught, uh, caught that. Uh, again, congratulations to FRCA Ghost 05 who took pole position in qualifying earlier this morning. Uh, we're about ready to go green here. We'll give race control the thumbs up as we'll boost these fast fours. We set the grid. Ghost, remember, taking pole position. As we're ready to go racing here, live from Monza. Watch Ghost, watch Shadow, watch any of the FRCA drivers. As they are often racing as we come down pit straight there, Ghost getting the jump, Shadow, Vermin right up beside him there. Three wide at the back there. Quick. Come around, big break up lock there from Gimps. Come around, they make it around through quite clean there at the moment. Beautiful driving from all the drivers there. Making it through quite clean. No contact, we got... Uh, uh, so we're on board there with Filth. Check this chicane here. Coming into the little tricky back section there. So Ghost, of course, as he gets all types of sideways there. Again, a lot of the drivers making it through quite clean. A little bit of rubbing there on the first uh, corner. Is there a lot of wheel work there from, from Shadow there. Having to wrestle this little MX-5. We've got a car here at the back that looks like he is uh, slowed right down. No. Hold him a chop there. Looks like he's making the move. Had to start from the back of the grid. Unable to make qualifying. Uh, runs a little bit wide there. A bloke Budsy allowing him to move forward a little bit, unable, or well, not having to defend as much. Still anyone's cup of tea here, or cup of coffee I should say. Forgiven coffee go. Uh, anyone's cup of coffee here at the front. Ghost, obviously in first place there, but uh, we get back to Shadow, who's staying with him. Sideways, going to make the move. It's going to be on the outside for the next turn. They bump. This is going to bring Filth up into this. They're going to be three wide by the time they come around. And he's got the move done. Sergeant Sideways got the move done there. They come around. As Amata comes up the inside, gives him a bit of a shove. They rub mirrors. Gives him the inside line here to the next. No, sorry. I was oblivious to where we were on the track. This is a good little battle here at the moment. So Filth and Amata rub panels. This is allowing uh, Sergeant Sideways to kind of get out of that. We're on board now. Ugh. One moment there. So we're on board with Filth. You can see how close he is to Amada. Who gets the better exit here? 
Amada getting sideways, drifted by trade. He knows what he's doing. Brilliant racing out there. So Amada's got the speed on the back straights. As you can see, he gets that, uses the advantage of the draft there and pull, uh, pulled out of it as he comes around. Do they rub? They do. They make contact, making more contact. I really think Filth's going to be the winner of this one. These two are going to trip over each other, giving each other plenty of room there at the moment. As you can see, Amada's got the speed, but Filth also got the speed on uh, Sergeant Sideways there. So he hasn't got the speed on the straights as Amada locks a break. Takes that next one. He's going to have to run wide. Look at they bump. Gives him the push and shove. Sergeant sideways. So he hasn't got the speed here at the moment. Uh, probably didn't get the exit that he wanted to get. So Phil staying with Amada. Locking the brakes, a big break, another break lock up, another big lock up. So they've swapped positions here this time around. Amata leading the three through. So Ghost has to gap back to second. As he gets his front wheel on the grass there, is it going to make a difference? Ooh, I reckon he's lost a little bit of ground there, he's uh, lost a bit, a bit of time. Oops. You see Shadow just uh, losing a little bit of ground there now to him. Come around to finish the lap three. It's FRCA one, two. And three. So sideways has got a got the move done there on Filth, but it's not over yet. These guys are gonna be nutting it out. Uh, until the end of the race, I believe. Oh, hard on the brakes. Filth runs wide in the dirt. That's going to give sideways the position. Gets it done. Filth just making a slight mistake there, getting caught up in the dirt. Uh, welcome everyone to the stream, all your new viewers and followers and watchers. Uh, looks like it's going ballistic on uh, YouTube there at the moment. Let me just check that. Don't forget we are live around the globe on five platforms. Oops. Comfortable position there at the moment for GIMP TZA. Running his own race there at the moment in seventh spot. Just that Subaru sounds absolutely amazing, Chop. You've done a great job on it. Having to start from the rear of the grid. Chasing down Suspect. He was unable to make, any, make anything of qualifying. I've uh, done a brilliant job out there, but just couldn't pull a, a, a time off. FRCA Filth, who was strong in project cars last night in the Touring Cars Championship. Him and Sideways are just going to be exchanging blows all night. 
This is allowing Amada, who's up in fourth spot. Good for his championship. Sideways, quicker last time around with uh, almost by one second. This is allowing again Amada just to uh, get out of that uh, battle pack there behind him. So ice forward for him now. You can see the brake road is glowing. A lot of brake bias to the front there at that corner. So ice forward for him now. He can chase down Vermin. Let's jump on board to see uh, where Vermin is. So he's just coming under that bridge there now. A bit of a gap back to Amada, but uh, the lap times that he'd be punching out with that thing now, it's the quickest of the cars down the straights. So Filth again getting the move done there on sideways. Sideways has got the lights on though. I'm coming for you, he says. Bit of a lock up there by Filth. Sideways, clearly the stronger the two around the tricky sections of the track. Uh, the slower corners. Uh, I believe it's front wheel drive also, that car. So it uh, certainly helps him there with getting pow uh, power and turn to the, to the ground. Huge lock up there from Filth. Manages to make the apex of the next corner. Brilliant racing by these guys. We'll just pop that map up there now. You can get an idea of the gap from first to second. Shadow. The flames popping from the exhaust. So perhaps goes too strong for Shadow to reel in. We have a little battle here at the back there. Ultimate Chop has got suspect. He's got it done, probably last time around. Suspect Pete saying, not, it's not quite over yet, mate. So the real battle being mid-packed there at the moment. Uh, between Sideways Filth and Amada, who looks like he's lost a lot of ground there now. If we jump on board when he's a little bit sideways. Uh, so he's perhaps vulnerable. Uh, perhaps his tyres are just slipping away. He's just lost a lot of ground there the last couple of times around. Pete and Chop going to exchange blows here at the moment. It looks like they've both got very similar pace. Very close there as he comes around. Not sure what happened there. Perhaps took his eyes off the track there for a second. But very close to that outside wall.
So Shadow looks to be closer this time around. Oh, geez, I don't know. Amada able to get away from uh, Filth there, who looks like, uh, as you can see, the battle from behind, just as they come flying around there in the background, they rub. So we'll just ride on board here. At the moment, with Sarge Sideways, who's on the outside. Yep, Filth being the, uh, I, I, I guess, the, the gentleman there. He backed out of that, knew that Sideways had a ton of speed. And he let him pass without contact. So that was a good, uh, good pass by Sideways. Of course, you've seen Filth open the door for him. There was a reason Sideways was clearly the faster of the two. So this has allowed Amada to just kind of get a little bit of a gap between them now. Beautiful braking there, making the apex nicely. He runs that second part of that tre uh, second part of that corner wide but uh, gets the power to the ground beautifully no wheel spin which is uh, quite hard for him as he's a drifter by uh, by trade he uh, he's commented a few times it's very difficult for him to get used to as we heard something clunk, then as he comes around, as you can see, hangs onto it. Uh, he's made it. Uh, he's made the crossover from drifting to circuit racing quite nicely, actually. I have to give my uh, credit to him because uh, he's he's got a solid championship battle there, mid pack. Uh, I believe he's third or fourth in the championship, uh, battling away with the other drivers. As you can see, that gap now. So Filth unable to reel a martyr. Ah, uh, sorry. Filth actually looks like he's made a mistake here. Something's happened because... Oh, as we get on board, as Oh, he's just missed it. How did he not collect that tyre barrier? My God, sideways. And he's still going. Whew. I thought it was all over for him then. We got on board with him just as he got a little bit of a brake lock up in the grass, which sent him flying across the other side of the track with uh, both, both wheels locked, or all wheels locked, narrowly escaping death. His race would have been all over. Uh, potentially it would have happened so quick that Filth would have got caught up in that too so Whew. save of the day goes to Sergeant Sideways 101 congratulations there Whew. very smooth on the downshift there for FRCA Vermin So FRCA, just going to take out the team points here this evening, of course. Unless something uh, outrageous happens, which almost, you know, is certain with what we've just seen with Sergeant Sideways. Uh, welcome to the stream, Chris. Thanks for joining us. 
So we just got... We've actually got Ghost just coming up now to the first of the lap traffic. A suspect, Pete. I have a, I have a pushing, I guess. Uh, he, he, or potentially he's, he's seen the blue flags. He knows that Ghost is coming. No, no. Certainly struggling there with something at the moment. Pulling into the pits. We'll just stay on board with him here at the moment. We see Shadow taking his, uh, commencing his next lap around there. So something's happened to Filth. Something is going on with Filth. He was battling up here with Sergeant Sideways, which we which we which we seen. Uh, Gimp TZ has made a pass on him, so he's down there in seventh spot there at the moment. Oh, really struggling with that at the moment. Uh, I'm guessing battling with uh, his tyres. They may have, may have just slipped away also. Uh, potentially a mistake made, uh, gone off track or something, I don't know, it'll be good to have a chat to him after the race. Suspect Pete getting out of the way there in a hurry of a martyr. Being the gentleman that he is. Lapped traffic. Uh, would have seen the blue flags and knew to get out of the way. So we've got that bloke, Bowdsy, now uh, with a DNF, unfortunately. Uh, I'll have to find out what's happened with him. Perhaps a DC. You can see the track is packed of fans here, both left and right hand sides of the grid. Grandstands are chock a block. Come and support their favourite Fast Fours drivers. Right, 11 and 14 here at the moment. I'm just interested what's going on with Filth. Doesn't look to have a great deal of damage. As you can see, you just heard the brakes lock there then. Uh, tires look to be okay. The power of technology, we can just uh, scroll through. That's a beautiful shot there coming under the Xbox One bridge. It's a brilliant day here at Monza. A little bit cool, the clouds are uh, hanging about. Oh, no, do not want to do that. Would have been nice. I'd never heard the end of it from the drivers. Got another car in the... That's filth. Filth's going to the pits. So there's certainly something... No, it's not filth. It's Gimp. Gimp is in the pits there now. It's going to allow... Oh, this is going to be really, really close, guys. Ultimate Chop just coming down the back part of the uh, start finish line there. Now we've got Gimps who's going to be exiting the pits there very, very soon. So you can see he's just up the front there. Cold tyres. Uh, lap 
traffic there. Very good job, mate. I can appreciate that. Obviously, you were battling for position also uh, with Gimps, who's just up ahead of you. Uh, and you've seen the blue flag, and of course, uh, you moved out of the way, so my hat's off to you, dude. Thank you very much. We've got a little soft spot for the Boost Mobile entry. Um, it's a beautiful livery that Chops put on it, but uh, got a soft spot for the Subarus. Uh, the Liberty that is. Who, who wouldn't love that sound? So I just want to bring the map up there at the moment. Just to get an idea. Ultimate Chop and Gimps. So... Uh, Gimps is also going to have to move out of the way here at the, uh, very, very shortly as Ghost comes up behind him to uh, take him a lap down. And you can see there's Gimps just up ahead going around the next part of this little... Uh, these S's. So we'll jump on board with Gims, who's got Ghost on his heels. Backs out of it, does the right thing. Congratulations. Thank you to you, Gims, mate. Uh, mate, my hat's off to Gims just all around. Uh, for those that do know, uh, he, he battles out there. Certainly does battle. And he does an amazing job of it too. Could not do it better myself, mate. So, thanks for being on the grid. Ghost is too strong. I still still want to know what happened with uh, with filth. Battling quite strongly there with uh, Sergeant Sideways for a lengthy period of the race. Be good to talk to Sergeant Sideways as well, get an idea of how he felt when he almost ended it. Uh, almost nose dived into the tyre barrier there on the back section of the track. Runs a little bit wide there, Suspect. Uh, sorry guys, I was just trying to check some platforms. Uh, we're live on five platforms across the globe. So we're coming around for the final time there for uh, Ghost. It's been his race the entire time.
right on board as he goes through this little tricky section just coming up now get an idea of how smooth he really is um, No brake lock up, nothing there. Uh, we will have to remind him that uh, he will need the Forgiven Coffee Co logo as he comes around drifting. Uh, he will need that logo on the bonnet there. He could have it, I'm not too sure. As he comes around, giving the crowd something to cheer about. Not only has he taken Ray's victory, but uh, let's... Uh, Let's drift his last section of track, eh? Hey? Why not? <laughs> Ghost really celebrating as he crosses the line to finish the race. Taking first position there. It's FRCA Ghost who led it all the way. Led qualifying. Behind him we've got FRCA Shadow. Second spot, FRCA Vermin in third. Another FRCA driver. Three uh, FRCA drivers on the podium. Amada just coming around the last corner there now. A healthy fourth, so that's going to be good for his championship. Congratulations to you and Mobile One. Sergeant sideways finishing in strong in fifth. I thought his race was going to be all over there. A few laps back. Hurled onto it. He would have pucked it up. I can guarantee it. I certainly did in the comms box. Finishes in fifth spot. Congratulations to him. We've got filth here in sixth. Uh, not sure what's happened as he locks a break there. A little bit of a a puff of smoke. Uh, Roderick commenting an FRCA podium lockout. That it is. It's uh, the Forgiven Coffee Co. FRCA championship, eh? <laughs> uh, congratulations to you guys. We've got FRCA Filth, our uh, fourth driver in the series. Crossing the line for six spot. We've got Paul Warwick uh, saying, yeah, the boys, FRCA. Uh, I believe Paul is Ghost. Uh, Ryan Be Ryan, Ryan Bettis. Sorry. Let me bring the iPad a little bit closer. Ryan Bettis. Uh, sorry if I haven't got the pronunciation right. Pronunciation right. Jesus Christ. Um, thanks for watching, mate. Nice racing from everyone, that's correct, mate. And how how did you go in your racing? Uh, I believe you went away racing some go-karts, mate. So congratulations to you, whatever the result is. Uh, I hope you had a blast and uh, can't wait to hear all about it. Ultimate Chop rounding out the field there. Now, we did lose a driver, remember. Unable to get a hold of Gimp TZA. I thought in that pit stop there that... Uh, Ultima Chop was going to track him down, but unable to do it with lap traffic. As Ultima Chop crosses the line to finish the race, it's an FRCA lockout, as Rod said. FRCA Ghost taking the pole position. Uh, FRCA Ghost, FRCA Shadow, and then FRCA B uh, Vermin. That is your race results there. I'm just going to actually grab a screenshot of that. I never actually realized that is the uh, results. Uh, that's going to help me uh, with uh, doing the points. So congratulations, everyone. Uh, Ryan started pole for Heat 3. Very good, mate. Uh, congratulations. Awesome work, man.
awesome work. And if uh, myself or Evans Esports can help you out any, mate, I'll certainly do what I can. Uh, okay, so I'm going to jump into the Discord now and see if I can get any drivers there for a comment. So I'll just set that up there now. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't bad. Gentlemen, congratulations out there. Um, Shadow, congratulations to you taking second spot. And Amata, congratulations, yeah, uh, an awesome fourth, mate. So a healthy uh, consistency for yourself. Oh, yeah, that, the S15, it was, it was a full tilt. There's nothing more I can squeeze out of the pot. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> mate, we, we rode on board a couple of times when you had to catch it. Now, Drifter by Trade, you obviously kind of uh, second nature to be able to catch it but it's for beautiful entertaining yeah cheers for that yeah it's uh it didn't like a couple of sections just because it got really light in the front like the sh as the weight shifted to the front it did not like it coming back on the power <laughs> <laughs> uh ultimate chop congratulations to you mate um unable to make qualifying but uh a healthy uh battle there throughout the race and uh some some healthy points yeah um First time back in the car for a little bit, so I thought I'd come back and uh, give her a crack. Yeah. Um, looks like either I've got slower or, uh, you know, some of the people have got some faster cars and, you know, got something under there. It's pretty <laughs> quick because I, they, just, they just left me for dust. Yeah, yeah, mate. I know a lot of them uh, are tuning to each track. So I know you said you've been out of the car for a little bit. So uh, were you able to get any seat time prior to, to the race this evening? I uh, know. I just jumped in the car and got told to drive. <laughs> as they do, mate, as they do. Uh, so, I mean, um, next week, double points. Uh, it's the endurance round. So, I mean, anything can happen with that. Uh, is it something you're looking at getting involved with? Is your team going to throw you in? Uh, well, hopefully they can. Might have a new car. Um, with the pace of the car that we've got now, it's not being competitive, so the team might throw in some more dosh and see what they can come up with for a new car. But um, hopefully be out there. Oh, I look forward to it, mate. Look forward to it. Uh, Shadow, obviously a bag of points for you. Moving up uh, in the championship, so... Uh, consistency is key and uh you're certainly doing an awesome job of that yeah cheers yeah just gotta try and keep it at the pointy end so. <laughs> when it matters mate, <laughs> that's exactly right so uh ghost obviously uh, qualified and ran away with the race uh it's good to to see the frca drivers where they are and uh up the front of course like you said the pointy end uh but a bit of healthy competition in the in the pits yeah, it's. I've given him the tune for the car, so he's got all the same running. Me and all the FRCA boys are running the same setup, so it's all comes down down to the drive. Yeah, a bit of bragging rights for himself, then I guess, eh? Yeah, I think he's I think he's used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, very good. So I was hoping that uh, Sergeant Sideways was going to be able to jump on because uh, when you go back and watch the stream, he had an amazing save. He almost just nosedived into the tyre barrier, and I don't know how he pulled it Ooh. off. So uh, you'll, you'll see it on the stream, mate. It was unbelievable. So uh, be be good to know what's happened there and uh, get his thoughts on it. Well, actually, yeah, what... that... <laughs> Sorry. That would have been hectic. <laughs> Yeah, what I want to know is because Flip, because the three of me, Sideways and um, uh, Filth, were having a real good battle um, through the start of the race, and then I, then I, and then as the, the we came a battle of top end, I, I started pulling away. 
Uh, but then at one point, Filth was catching him in, and then he just disappeared, and I know Sarge was Sergeant over it. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. I'm not too sure what happened to Filth. Um, he just, like you said, just disappeared. So um, uh, potentially a mistake there, and he ran off uh, off track. Yeah, it was disappointing, but at the same time, I was I, the car did a lot better than I was expecting because it was a it just did not want to work for me in qualifying. But just on track, it just came, and as the um, fuel load got lighter, she got more and more stable. Ah, very good, mate. Very good, and I'm glad you're enjoying it out there. And obviously, the car is is working how you need it to work under the conditions of racing on a circuit. Um, just crossing over from drifting, it's obviously a different ball game for you. But how how comfortable are you feeling now? Oh, perfectly fine at the moment. Honestly, what's holding me back is the car itself. It's at its limit for the most. Um, you know, there's still you know a couple of bits and pieces. You know, like oh, for that that first corner, that was really because it took me a long time to work out a comfortable braking spot. But um, at, but then for the most part, this is the car is at its limit because I c- I've got no room to change parts around. I can't put power in because then I lose. Then the car gets heavier, or you know, there's just there's no room in. T- <laughs> so. Yeah, it's yeah. deciding what to sacrifice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly right uh, round five endurance round double points road atlanta so it should uh should change things up completely different it's a completely different circuit to monza and where we've been previously yeah it's very technical but it's got that high speed back straight down into that chicane that's i think there's going to be a lot of action there and at the top of the hill for turns two three that chicane yes Yes, and uh, I, I guess I shouldn't say my concern because I mean I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but the the endurance, the hour and a half of racing, uh, I think that's going to be the biggest player in that. Yeah, fatigue I think will kick in. It, uh, looking looking forward to it though. Uh, I'll let you guys get away. Oh, we've got a ghost oh five. Congratulations, mate. Welcome. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Good uh, race. Yeah, mate, it was a good race. Uh, you kind of ran your own race there, uh, pole position in qualifying, and then uh, got the jump. Uh, Ghost, uh, sorry, Shadow ran with you for a little bit, but you were just uh, too strong. Yeah, I had a little bit of practice earlier, and uh, thanks to um, Shadow for a bit of help with the tune. Um, yeah, no, did pretty well. Didn't look backwards. Oh, that's it, mate. And when, when you're doing that, you're quite comfortable. You're just getting into your groove of things. Uh, did you feel at any time that your concentration broke uh, because you were so comfortable? Well, I had an issue with um, the uh, sensitivity on the steering wheel that the uh, downforce uh, disappeared about halfway through the race. So that caused a bit of an issue. But apart from that, um, yeah, I worked through it and got to the end. It was good. Uh, it was good, mate. Brilliant, brilliant racing uh, and and awesome work for the FRCA guys. So, uh, you guys can go back tonight and uh, just absolutely celebrate. We're definitely having a few drinks uh, after that one. Yeah. Good. yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right, guys. Uh, I'll let you get back to the to the garage and uh, you can debrief and uh, look forward to seeing you on the grid for for uh, Road Atlanta. No problem. Thanks Cheers. very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that has been another uh, round of the Forgiven Coffee Co. Fast Fours. I've just jumped onto the uh, the Facebooks or, or all the streams there at the moment. So uh, stay tuned because uh, the the standings will be posted very, very shortly. I uh, just want to make sure that I've got everything there. Uh, definitely a uh, question. Oh, sorry. I knew Ryan uh, had a question for all the drivers there. How did everyone go testing for braking points? Uh, so I'll just quickly see if, if you're still in the stream there. Uh, no, they've all disappeared, mate. Sorry, but uh, I will post it and uh, we'll get an idea of uh, their thoughts on that. So apologies, Ryan. Uh, the, the stream just wasn't loading up, so I missed that question there. Uh, but I'll work on it and make sure I get it uh, get it sorted for you, and we'll find out the answer very very shortly. Uh, we know the answer that the FRCA guys are strong. Obviously, the MX5 uh, kind of in a league of its own. So we 
potentially could work on an MX-5 season. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that, guys. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I better keep moving. It's been uh, another uh, great session here for Evans Esports. Don't forget, head on over to Forgiven Coffee Co. Give them a like. Give the, uh, give the band DRX NES, give them a like. And, uh, yeah, share the hell out of the Evans Esports because uh, without the support, we can't get it done. All right, I'm going to leave it with you guys. I'll talk to you.